Hello everyone, it's Stevio here. I'm walking through my ripe field of wheat. And man, does this need to be combine. Only issue is, we don't have a combine. We need to fix that. Let's get to it. So we called Buck, told him that we want to talk about that beast buying combine again. I think I'm pretty dead set on getting it, and I think I can get a great deal because it's a John Deere dealership. Perfect place to buy a case, right? Let's see if we can close this deal. See ya. See ya, Buck. See ya, Stevie O. Later. See you guys. All right. So let's get this deal worked out on the Steady 120 here. So yep. you are looking to A, rent this, B, buy this, or C, I don't know what else option C would be. So I'm assuming you're here to buy it? Buy, buy, buy. I don't, I want to oh get my. this red paint off your hands here at this John Deere dealership. Yeah, it's not like it's doing a whole lot of harm. Oh, but, yeah, um, it is. I mean, just look, it, it clashes. You almost look like you have Christmas colors out on your lawn. You're right. And it's only midsummer. Get this thing off my lot. Uh, you think uh, 95000 Sounds Sounds good to me. I mean, I don't really know what the resale value are on these things. Well, now that we got that deal, I did see a McDon header when I pulled up. Yeah, that's uh, that's way in the back over there. We had that with the other header trailers because it has its own transportation on it. That thing's in pretty good shape for its, for its age. It's only a, I think about four years old. Ooh. Four or five years old. It's fairly new. Uh, how about we do a package deal? And okay. let's see. Let me do a little figures in my head here. How many? Uh, you said it's four years. How many? Four years old. Where did it come from? It came with this combine, so it was about the same about the same time frame. Okay. Uh, I'm going. How about one fifty for the pair? One sixty. One fifty five. Well, I don't really want a Christmas color, so we'll do it. Sweet. Shake All on right. it. Well, let's yes, yeah, shake on it, but we're gonna have to go in there and get some paperwork done, so Alright. Follow me in here and we'll get you set up. We don't do the spit in your hand and shake and we're good? Well we can. Oh, okay. But company can't. Oh, okay. I don't really know which computer is mine. They haven't set me up with one yet, so I'm just going to take this one. I thought you were a boss man. Not yet. Not yet? Yeah, they, our boss is thinking about probably either A, retiring, or B, quitting, because a lot of people hate him. Oh, kind of rude. Not, that's not good. So, no, he's, 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 been, he's, he's been here quite a few years with us. But... I, I always seem to be the only one out here that's actually working. Okay. And no one else ever decides. But so we're going to hook you up with the 20. I don't even remember what year that case is. I think it's about a 2015 ish. I think you said uh, 2012 or 2011. Somewhere around there. It has those. What's really confusing to me is that it has the four light bulbs on it. It has the four light bulbs on each side of the cab, which sign signifies it's a newer series. But. Maybe someone did a conversion. Who knows? Maybe. Um, Put some I'd LEDs. Something on there. Maybe I, mean, I know something you don't. That's why I bought it. Probably. I'm not uh, a case guy. That guy just figured out the other day on how these things are classified. I don't even know case very well. but So we'll hook you up with that. And I believe the Macdon's a 45-foot draper. So we'll get okay. you hooked up with that. Uh, let me grab the paper out of this cabinet. All right. 
Just flip through a few pages here and see what you need to sign. All right, we need an initial here, here, okay. and then your signature. Okay. This is to verify that you are reclaiming ownership of the vehicle. Yep. Two more pages. Uh, need a printed name here. This is to also verify that anything that breaks outside of a the limited warranty that does already come that's still on the vehicle from when the other guy purchased it. Anything that voids that, we will not place that under us. That is not going to be our our responsibility. That will be on you. Okay. Do you guys, and will you service it here or no? We will, but it will come at a little bit more of a hefty price because of the fact that it is a Case IH. Okay. But it's not going to be too much. It's just uh, the parts are going to be what needs to. If anything, I, you'd probably get a better deal down at the tractor that the uh, repair place down that's in Moore. They do all kinds of equipment down there. Okay. But we we'll, we can take care of you for. We probably got better tools than them anyway. Plus, I would hope with this new redesign, they gave a couple of people some new wrenches. Yeah. Hopefully. Yeah. Looks um, like you got a few. Yes. Mm -hmm. Um. Okay, so here's the MacDon papers, and this one, actually, I only need one thing from you, and that's just your initial down here. Again, that's to signify that you are claiming ownership of this. Okay. Uh, and the last two, there is one on each side of the page. I need your signature on case page and the MacDon page. Okay. All right. That sounds good. All right, so let me write you a check. 100 and... Six a hundred and fifty five grand. Yep. Hmm, wonder what Austin's doing back here. Oh. How's it going? Look at that. He hmm. must have broke his John Deere down. Hmm. Surprised it wasn't a Dodge. I know. Maybe he needs yeah. that Dodge serviced after it was Oh. Alright, oh. well I'm going to go uh admire my new red paint. Alright. Thank you. Do you. That. Yep, no problem. Anytime, sir. All right, so we just signed the papers on our brand new combine. So this is the first combine I have ever purchased. And man, do I think I got a deal. I got beast spine and a draper head. This is a 45-foot draper head right here. McDon just ran through the shop got both of them for a hundred and fifty five thousand now beast spine here has pretty high separator hours at least to me I think it is it has uh, 29,000 or 2900 sorry separator hours so this axle flow has seen its day but I don't know I just I need a good used combine and I'm pretty dead set on uh, beast spine here just because one I know I won't have any troubles in uh, sticky fields with these big LSW good rich tires on here and two it's too good of a deal to pass up now the only issue is we need to get this thing back to the farm so we can start harvesting. Well, let's get to it. We'll jump back in our truck here. So the so the good thing is is we have a lot full of semis. Now we just have to decide which one we're gonna use. Man. That's a tough choice there. Let's get back and, and uh, decide which one we're gonna use. So we're pulling up to our lot here. So basically what we're going to use is our drop deck wide load trailer here. So this trailer should work pretty good for us. So we just need to pick the right semi to haul with. Hmm choices so we got the Mac here good old semi seen its day on the road systems we got the Kenworth 
We got the flat top. We got the Peterbilt. I think let's go with the Kenworth. Just the inside of this thing looks immaculate. Even take a nap in there. Maybe I should have been sleeping in here instead of the motel. So let's get this thing hooked up. So while we're pulling over here, I forgot to tell you guys, so I still has the excavator. So the place I loaned it from, they are slowly getting pushed out of business from uh, Platte Valley Equipment. So they said they could give me a pretty good deal if I wanted to just end up purchasing it. Said I wasn't 100%, so I just held on to it for the time being. Let me know what you guys think. Should I keep it? Alright. Let's get this trailer hooked up. Really need to do something about them gates. I know I've been saying that. We need to get something done about them. There we go check out the hookup here quickly all right hoses hooked up everything looks good all right and it's good driving a semi oh is, is this one of the semis you guys would like me to keep I don't know, this might be a hard one to give away, to sell. I know we're going to need to sell something with this new combine purchase, but we will see. I will see you guys at the dealer. Just driving along this road and just admiring how good my truck looks. Man, it's a good looking rig. We just got a little bit farther to go, and we'll make it to the dealer. So we're just pulling into the dealership here. Don't know exactly where the best place to load this at. Might have to see if Buck is still around. Maybe right here? Sure. Unhook that here quickly. Leave that truck running there. It's pretty flat ground there. Might want to chalk the back of these tires just to make sure it doesn't roll when the combine gets up there. Let's see if Beast Bind starts up over here. Uh, I think I'm going to have to unfold fold the trailer all right just got this old b-spine warming up I'm really starting to like that 4640 over there it's a pretty good tractor in my opinion maybe that's a possible we're definitely gonna have to consider purchasing a tractor I don't know if it will end up being green or not, but we will see. I need to drive this up on the trailer. Oh man, this is too easy. Too easy. Try to get most of the weight balance. We will call that good. Inspect it and let's chain it. Alright, so we're pulling beast buying out here. Uh oh, we did not make that turn. Oh, you can see beast buying in our rear view mirror. Take it nice and slow, beans we're turning with this much weight on the trailer. 
There we go. See how B spine is riding. Take that nice and slow. There we go. Don't worry, John Deere dealer. I'm taking the red away. I'm taking the red away. While we're going down here, I will see you back at our lot to unload Big Red here. Alright, we're just turning into our final turn here. Probably should have been having our blinkers on the whole time, but didn't get pulled over, so it's good. B-Spine seems to be riding really well. This road is pretty bumpy, so hopefully we can get to our lot without any issues here. We will see. So I'm going to jump out right about here. I haven't unloaded anything over here. So I have no idea where's the best place to unload this big girl at. I'm thinking means we don't have a ditch up front here is just unloaded right here. Guess maybe over here, but we'll have to deal with the annoying uh, gates. So I'm thinking just right here should be all right. Let's do that. We're pulling B spine right over here. Very slowly the tall weeds. Does anybody think I need a lawnmower? Maybe. Let's unhook. Leave that old girl running. Oh, let's unchain this here quickly. Oh, like a glove. No issues there. Back up. Don't know if we can get through our annoying uh, gates here. Let's try. Barely fit. Get this thing pulled over here. I just want to get it uh, at least locked up. Heard a lot of horror stories of uh, people that go out and drink in the country and find keys and combines and tractors and end up wrapping them around highline poles. Don't need that happen to my new tractor. Combine, I mean. Look good on the farm, old girl. I don't know if uh, B-Spine's a girl or a boy. It might be a boy. Just back in this old girl back in here. She's a good looking uh, semi. She be, deserves to be under some cover. There we go. Shut her off. Now I think I have another job for Old International. You're getting a lot of work here lately, old girl. So, the plan is to go pick up my gator. So if you guys didn't know, I want a gator. How lucky is that? So, the dealership had a raffle. I won the raffle, decided to get a John Deere diesel gator, and now I have a free gator. That was a crazy day, let me tell you. If you haven't seen it, you gotta see the truck of war that ended up ensuing after that. In my opinion, they were just mad they didn't win the raffle, so tempers flared and... But let's get over there and pick up our new gator 
and our new 45 foot draper head. So, just got out the dealership and realized I don't think they have a uh, loading ramp here. That may be an issue. So, I wanted to load the gator and then hook up to the head. I think we may need to find a ditch for this and see if that'll work. Alright, so I found a ditch that may work. Hopefully I'm not going to get stuck. So I started looking at these tires when I got. Hopefully them tires are big enough to get over the ditch, the crack between the dirt and the ditch and the truck, but we will see. Don't know for sure, but we're going to try it out here. Nothing else. This gator was free, so not too big of a loss there. Don't know if I should take this at speed or take this slow. Mm, let's go speed. Oh, look at that. Like a glove. All right. All right, so we got the gator on there. We're going to try not to drive in the crop field here. Don't know whose field this is, but I doubt they would want to see tire tracks in it. All right, so now we need to hook up to our header. Maybe a little challenging. Let's see if we can do it. Wish somebody was around to help us out here. Probably should have went around the other side. Huh. Jake's truck is still here. I wonder... Did it have issues after the tow contest the other day? I don't know. So we finally got it hooked up. no help from Buck. Maybe it's just because we uh, bought a case we don't get help? I don't know. We got a pretty good deal so he might be a little salty still at that. Let's get this old head truck home here. Not gonna be able to go at any fast speeds that's for sure. Probably need our blinkers on. I'll see you back at the house. So we are pulling right over here. So one near miss of a car. They seemed like they needed to get home worse than I did. But no damage. So that's good. So we're taking this old international down our country road here. And it feels good to own a piece of farm equipment. So we're just pulling right over here. I think we'll just uh, leave this right here. Probably gonna have to get to harvesting pretty quick. Good thing is we got a few grain trailers and everything. Turn the flashers off. Turn this off. So we might leave this all, the gator and everything hooked up. So, I don't know. Maybe I should have got a lawnmower because I got some tall grass over here I need mowed. I don't know. Maybe later. But, that header is just so wide. Just look at that thing. We will be able to cut down some acres with that. So hopefully, one of the reasons why I got a bigger combine, an 8 series combine that sitting over there on the hill is because I need to do some custom harvesting. You guys don't know, I'm pretty broke here so anything and everything. I need to help out the neighbors because they've been helping me out since my uncle passed away. So I think it's pretty important to help them out. 
pretty excited to be running my uh, freshly owned, new to me, beast buying here. Fresh off of Mount Montana fields. Maybe even the Welker fields. Don't know. Maybe. Maybe not. Pretty sure he has 30 series combines, but it's kind of odd that uh, looks so much like him. Hmm. But thank you all for watching, and I will see you later here in Iowa. Thank you all for watching. Like, comment, and share, and subscribe. See you next time.